is a former MD of the Ghana Stock Exchange and a lawyer, Mr. Eko Afeji. <laughs> Eko, it's good to see you after a few months. How are you doing? Not bad at all. Great to have you here. Yeah, enjoying also, my retirement. Wonderful. <laughs> you're, you're enjoying it. I've got you out of retirement. <laughs> I want to turn my attention to uh, Mr. Eko Afeji. And Eko, you are the former MD of the Ghana Stock Exchange. I, I know that the, the exchange has been there to try to galvanize resources for the country, you know, and maybe talk to us about alternative sources of money, all right, raising funds, because it looks like there aren't enough places to go to, and whether the exchange, in your view, has been performing its role well as that place. We are talking about businesses, right? Businesses need money. Debt may not be the best idea. Are they going to the market? Is the alternative market working? Are people interested in buying stocks? What will that do to revive the economy? What's the outlook? So if you can just give some general thoughts on that before I come to uh, Madam Bashir from Tessa. So put your hand for Mr. Ekwa Feji. Thanks so much, uh, Bernard. And uh, I like the fireworks coming from uh, Doc and Prof. is very calm and cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Prof's uh, presentation was uh, very solid and very impressive. And um, I like uh, his conclusion about uh, being cautiously optimistic about the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, as Ghanaians, we must believe in the future. If you don't believe in the future ourselves, I don't know how we're going to get there. Mm. So it's very important that we believe in the future and believe we can do it and we'll make it. <coughs> uh, that's very, very important. And that relates to investments, if you look at it generally. Uh, what Prof talked about uh, in terms of the economy is one of the major factors that normally will impact on investments. Uh, so. You look at inflation, you look at the interest rates, you look at the uh, foreign exchange, they all impact on uh, the, the markets and the investment uh, space. So it's very important to have stable macroeconomic environment, have an improving economy, uh, whether it's inflation, which is 23.2 uh, now, uh, we can achieve the targets being set. Uh, is it 15, eight or so, uh, uh, eight plus one, or the plus two or minus two by yeah. the central bank, 15 by IMF. Uh, if we can achieve that, uh, that will go a very long way to help the markets. Mm -hmm. um, same as currency, if we can come uh, to some stability and also the depreciation um, 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 uh, reduces a little or more to uh, the level where we want to get to, then that will also uh, help. So the economy generally impacts on the market. Um, then, the other things that impact on the market, which was look at critically, and uh, I had um, uh, Doc talk about it in a way. Um, you know, sometimes people don't look at it, but when you're dealing with corporate instruments, mm. um, like shares or corporate bonds, the performance of the companies themselves is also key, in addition to what's happening to the economy. So if you're not getting the companies performing, then you have an issue to add, uh, with attracting investors and even attracting capital that you are talking about. Performance of these entities um, are very, very uh, key. Uh, the third point there, which most people don't really look at is the market itself, the market structure or the infrastructure. Do we have liquidity? That's very important for investors, both local and foreigners. Do you have liquidity in your market? How easy it is to assess your market? Are you automated, using technology, etc.? They all play a major role, but most people don't really look at it. Their investor knowledge. I heard you all talking about treasurables and all that. Prof was talking about Ghanaians like treasurables. They're more inclined towards that. It's all because of the fact that, apart from high interest rates, they know that, oh, um, even if it's discounted, they look at it from the interest rate angle. <laughs> I'll get 20 something percent at the end of the day, etc. Are people very knowledgeable about the other investments we have? Mm. Okay. And those are the times that can really help the economy to grow. 
There's no country that has really developed with dependence on tree belts mm. or short term. We must always have long term view and have long term instruments. And that's the only way we can develop this economy. So these are some of the key factors that affect the, affect the, investor, uh, the, the investment space and also markets. And the last one I mentioned, political environment, key. Mm. If we want markets to grow, we want to attract investment, political environment is very key. And all these will go to build the investor confidence. Mm. Without investor confidence, you're not going to get the markets move. So what do we see now and also looking into the future? Mm -hmm. Currently, we have um, a debt market. Uh, we also have the equity market. Mm -hmm. um, when you take the debt market, most people will look at it from the bond market. Mm -hmm. uh, Ghana, we, d we set up a bond market in 2015 uh, called the Ghana Fixing Car Market. Um, it's been one of the most successful markets ever developed in this country uh, from 2015, uh, where we traded about 55 billion all the way to 2022, where we traded 230 billion. Then when we had all the DDEP and all that come in, we had uh, the liquidity dropping. So in 2023, we had the market doing only about 98 uh, billion. Okay. So that is how the market has been impacted. Uh, but then um, I'm beginning to see, looking to the future, especially what is happening or what has happened in January and also beginning of February. Um, it's getting more liquid. We've traded about 14 billion within one month, which is about 45, 48 percent higher than that of last year. So we can see the signs of growth again there. Um, if the economic environment will improve, mm. then we are likely to see a lot more. And if we can get trade bills rates coming down, mm. then we can also get people shifting a lot more to the bond side, because that is what we need, okay? Mm -hmm. So apart from the government bonds, mm -hmm. we have corporates, mm -hmm. and that is where we need to get our companies to also look at the corporate debt, uh, and so there's bank borrowing, and um, interestingly, for those who have been following the market, we just had Casa Preco do a uh, bond issue um, uh, at 26%, mm -hmm. a three-year bond, raise 100 uh, million, they only raise about 600 million and so on them. But the point I want to make is that uh, corporate bond is another area. And we have about 35 uh, issuances on the market as you speak, mm -hmm. coming from about seven uh, uh, companies. So that's yeah. another area. Uh, tables, we've talked a lot about it. But going forward, the market is looking at commercial paper. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the uh, green bonds uh, uh, so that we can have various products in the market to attract different kinds of investors. Mm -hmm. I decided to talk about the debt market because that's what most people are interested in. The equity space is more difficult. Mm -hmm. um, exchange is set up in uh, 1990, uh, over uh, 30 years uh, uh, old. Um, we still have just about 36 companies uh, listed, mm -hmm. uh, ordinary uh, shares, um, just one preference shares, and uh, then uh, some depository uh, shares. Uh, the key thing is that how do we grow this market? How do we attract more listings on this market? Mm. And the only way that can happen is also depending on what happens to the economy. Mm. If people see that you can get the higher returns from equity, and the economic theory will tell you the higher the risk you take, <laughs> the more the, you should be getting. Uh, but then, like Pro said, we have an inverted yield curve <coughs> where people are getting a lot more from even shorter instruments than that. So that is the area that we need to really build on. Mm. And um, uh, to me, uh, the people running the exchange are doing a good job. They're moving um, the, the, the around, talking to companies, uh, uh, hoping once mm. the economy picks up, mm. we're going to get uh, some uh, 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 the, Wonderful. Some uh, companies coming up there. But in terms of performance, mm. last year was not uh, bad at all. The market uh, went up by 28% in terms mm. of the index mm. compared to negative uh, the previous uh, mm. year. Uh, so that's a sign of improvement also uh, on the market. Mm -hmm. Although uh, liquidity was lower, mm. but it's beginning to pick up again. So in summary, uh, let me say we do have markets. We do have the investment space. The economy has impacted on that, but to me, there's a future. There's, there's the potential growth mm. coming up. And also, 
we are seeing some of the macroeconomic indicators mm. uh, gradually coming down. And that can impact on the market. So this is the time to invest. Thank you, Eko I have a couple of questions for you, but I just want to announce, yes, 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 yes. I want to announce that this is the Tesla Investment Dialogue. We're live on CT Television here at Tesla. No. Picking our first investment comment from Eko Afeji, former MD of the exchange. We'll be back with another question for him, and then I'll come to my other guest. Don't go away. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Tesla Investment Dialogue series. We're live here at the City TV studios in Tesla. No. Please put your hands together. We've been here for an hour and a few minutes. My guests include Professor Dennis Safwa, Assistant Professor of Economics, Niagara University, who gave us a baseline presentation on the economy, analyzing economic outlook, debt sustainability, inflation targeting, and also the effects of an election year. We also have Eko Afeji, a lawyer, who's the uh, former MD of GSE. We had also Dr. Richmond Tuahini, a banking and investment consultant, financial consultant. And I have, of course, the... MD of Tesla Capital, who have brought us all together, Mrs. Eugenia Bashir. We'll be hearing from you shortly. My question for you, we're all told government is the safest place to put your money oh, prior to domestic debt exchange. We put our money in things. You were giving principal haircuts. There was also lengthening of tenors and reduction in interest. Some people think the good thing there is people will look for investment in more meaningful things. So put more money in companies as well. So now it's not just buying government paper, but you can now think about supporting a great company, watch them grow and exit. Is there any positive in the debt exchange and what it did for the way we've been so skewed in our investment choices, Eko Um, uh, I'm sure you learned in school that uh, the surface investment is normally government bonds, right? Um, but where you have the situation where interest rates are always very high, then better be careful about the risk that it introduces uh, into the system. So uh, the good thing about what has happened is the fact that um, interest rates have been cut uh, as to whether um, uh, in the long run we'll be able to match it with inflation also coming down and the treasury rates also coming down, that'll be fine. Because you can be having interest rates of uh, over 20% uh, 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 longer term, uh, why are you going to be generating the funds to pay? <laughs> it's, it's, it, it doesn't work that way anywhere. And when you take most countries around that are developing, the interest rates are streaming on the low side. Mm. And that is why it's very, very important uh, to also look at um, the inflation and all the underlying economy indicators Prof talked about and also Doc talked about. Mm -hmm. So the good thing, like I said, is the fact that uh, we are streamlining um, uh, the interest rates regime uh, going forward. And also, um, it will surprise you uh, that apart from the fact that uh, most people lost a lot of money because of uh, uh, the rates coming down and also and all that, People are still investing. Mm. Mm. People are still investing in some of these collective investment schemes uh, that put their money in there. Uh, fine. The, the market is not as liquid as before. Uh, but going forward, I suspect it's going to pick up. I believe that it's going to uh, uh, pick up um, uh, seriously. Then also, in the long run, if we're able to get, like I said earlier on, uh, all the macroeconomic indicators coming down, then we will now be able to do longer term instruments. Mm. And that is when you also find more people going to the equity side. Mm -hmm. And that is when you also find corporates also doing longer term debt instruments, 10 years, 20 years, and all that. Mm. So we need that to help the economy to grow. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Afeji. Please put your hands together for him one more time. <laughs> We're still here as we wrap up the Tesla Investment Dialogue 2024, coming to you live from our studios. There's a final question for Mr. Afeji on why we are not seeing the equity market rebound, although the, uh, the, the fixed income market is not doing well. If you can attempt to address that and give us your closing comments as well. Okay, that's an interesting question. Um, and normally, uh, that shift happens when you find 
um, the debt market not doing well and people move to uh, the equity uh, side. Like I said earlier on, I mean, the equity market uh, went up by 28%. Uh, for those who understand, the price earning ratios are quite low on the market. Uh, the key thing is that most investors are so attracted to those high interest rates um, um, on the other side of short-term instruments. So we have just a few of them going there. So uh, I talk about pension funds. We are getting some funds moving there now. But what they need is to have more equities on the market. It's too restrictive. We need to diversify, especially the various uh, the, the, the industries that are coming from, etc. Uh, 36 is not enough. We need to get about 100 uh, mm. um, uh, in no time. So that is where the issue is. Uh, most of them are so, the individuals are still going to the tables and shorter term. Um, those who want to even go into the equity space, because you don't have so many equities on the market, uh, you, you tend to find that it's a little restricted uh, for them. So going for one of the key things is how to get more companies on the market. Right. How do we get more products on the market? Right. Uh, to me, uh, that can be done, first of all, mm. if we get the economy running um, um, uh, at the level where we believe uh, it can attract investors, that would right. be key. Mm. So I believe going forward, um, once we'll be able to achieve some level of stability in the economy, yeah. we're going to see the markets also uh, right. develop. Thank you. Because of time. Uh, but I have hope, and I believe it will happen. Yeah.